Dell PowerEdge T30 is Dell's Skylake refresh of the T20. What's improved compared to the T20? Does NVMe storage work? Does a full-length GPU fit? How many disks can it hold? Does Sleepwake work? Let's take a look. The T30 Xeon was on sale for $329 during Dell's Black Friday in July sales event. Similar to the T20 Xeon, which sold for as low as $249, we expect regular sales of the T30 throughout the year. Inside the box, we find the Dell PowerEdge T30 server, a power cable, and product literature. No keyboard or mouse are included. Up front, we find four USB ports, two 3.5mm audio jacks, and a DVD burner. Out back, we find PS2 inputs, a gigabit ethernet jack, two display ports with 4K support, an HDMI port with 4K support, a serial port, six USB ports, and two 3.5mm audio jacks. Inside, there's a quad-core Skylake Xeon processor clocked at 3.3 gigahertz. The integrated GPU is an Intel HD Graphics P530. For memory, the system has four DIMM slots and ships with one 8GB DDR4 ECC module. There's support for four 3.5-inch SATA disks and two more 2.5-inch disks if you leave out the DVD drive and add in an optional SATA controller card. There's also a 290-watt bronze power supply and four expansion slots. A 1TB SATA hard drive is also included. To evaluate the T30, we installed Microsoft Windows 10. For storage, we're using a Samsung 960 EVO NVMe M.2 drive. For graphics, we're using a 4GB EVGA GTX 1050 Ti powered by the PCIe slot. For input, we're using a Microsoft Media Keyboard. Using a higher wattage GPU with supplemental power is possible using Dell's 365 watt gold power supply shown here. You can also opt for an off-the-shelf power supply using a $13 adapter cable shown here. The adapter converts a standard ATX 24-pin power supply connector to Dell's 8-pin motherboard power supply connector. Although the T30 only officially supports half-length GPUs, we were able to fit an AMD RX 580 GPU from Sapphire. As shown here, the RX 580 fits, but it's a tight fit to avoid the memory slots and the Dell expansion slot door won't close. We confirmed that the RX 580 posts, as shown here, by attaching a Dell 365 watt power supply. Although the system specs and documentation make absolutely zero mention of it, the T30 includes an NVMe M.2 slot. This is because the T30 shares a motherboard with the Dell Precision T3620 workstation. Dell disabled the M.2 slot in the T30 with BIOS version 1.0.3 and above, but you can unlock the M.2 slot by downgrading to BIOS version 1.0.2 and below. The M.2 slot doesn't come with a screw, and so you'll need to buy an M2 by 3 mm screw if you want to use an M.2 drive. Because the T30 is intended as a server, Sleepwake support is not included in new BIOS versions. You can unlock Sleepwake support by downgrading the BIOS to version 1.0.0. Inside the T30, there is plenty of space to add four more 2.5-inch hard drives using the drive cage shown here. Or instead, it's also possible to add three more 3.5-inch hard drives using the drive cage shown here. 
This means you could potentially have six 2.5 inch and four 3.5 inch hard drives, or two 2.5 inch and seven 3.5 inch hard drives if you add a SATA controller. For even more drives, using a 3.5 inch to dual 2.5 inch mount kit as shown here, the T30 could hold up to 16 2.5 inch drives. For benchmarks, the T30 returns a Geekbench 4 score of 4,307 for single core and 11,696 for multi core. This is a 7% improvement over the Dell T20. For storage, we were able to peak at 3,084 megabytes per second for sequential reads, while writes topped out at 1,478 megabytes per second using Samsung's Magician software. To test the Dell T30 for gaming performance, while the EVGA GTX 1050 Ti is fairly low-end, during casual gaming, Overwatch averaged over 60 frames per second on epic settings at 1080p. We're using BIOS version 1.0.0 to enable Sleepwake and M.2 NVMe support. We recommend upgrading to the latest BIOS version to fix security vulnerabilities such as with Intel AMT, which is stored in other system modules, and downgrading afterwards to unlock M.2 and Sleepwake support. The procedure requires saving BIOS 1.0.0 to a USB drive first because the latest BIOS removes the M.2 support needed to boot back into Windows. You can flash the BIOS from Dell's F12 one-time boot menu as shown here. Thanks to Skylake's support, the T30 is a solid improvement over the Haswell-based T20. The T30 has a better version 5 Xeon CPU, better graphics, 4K support, more and faster memory, a new chipset, a new Ethernet version, a new location for the legacy PCI slot next to the GPU, more version 3 PCIe slots, an HDMI port, and an M.2 NVMe slot. Crucially for desktop bargain hunters, the Xeon's performance is similar to a Core i5-6600 processor, the M.2 slot is blazing fast, and Sleepwake works well. The T30 is extremely quiet, and is among the quietest systems we've ever used. The T30's mini tower case is flexible and roomy. The T30 works well as a desktop PC for business applications, as an entry-level gaming PC, as a small network server, and as a small storage server. If you're looking for a cheap pre-built PC, during sale pricing, the T30 is flexible and highly recommended. Stay tuned for more Geekster Owl videos coming soon, where we'll be reviewing the Nintendo Switch Mega Bundle, cheap portable Linux servers, the Eve light switch for Apple HomeKit, the Klipsch R20B soundbar, a new Kaby Lake Hackintosh, the 43-inch LG 43UD78B computer monitor, and the Apple external GPU enclosure. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe and leave comments below. Also, consider getting subscribed to our new music channel, Geekster Robot. And so long, until next time.